Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the SH Figuarts Ella King. Now, this character comes from the 1967 television series Ultra 7, which I've talked about last week though, seeing as how a lot of people didn't really see that video, I'll talk about my thoughts again here. Um, not that that's a bad thing or anything like that, you know, when a video of mine flops, you know, it's not the end of the world, I don't make videos for views or anything like that so I'm not upset by this but just a little surprised but I digress anyway Ultra 7 I like Ultra 7 I think it's a very good show but if I'm being honest I think it's my least favorite of all the Ultra shows that I've seen uh, so far I've seen the original Ultraman Ultraman Tiga Ultra Q Ultra 7 and I just finished Ultraman Dinah so at some point soon, I will start to check out Ultraman Gaia, but I digress. Anyway, Ultra 7, probably my least favorite out of all of those shows that I listed. You know, I still like it, don't get me wrong. Ultra 7 is still a very good show. It just didn't wow me like the other Ultra shows that I've seen, but I digress. Anyway, I don't really know what else to say, so let's just get right into this. Like usual... Uh, to start this review, we'll take a look at the paint first, and the painting on this figure I think looks very nice, so let's take a closer look. So, right off the bat, as you can see, like, pretty much the entirety of this figure is casted in this, like, yellowish-whitish coloration, which I think looks nice. I think it, uh, fits, you know, how Ella King looked in the show. Uh, actually, fun fact, uh, Ella King was originally just supposed to be all white, but because the suit got wet, it just started to yellow, which I think is kind of funny also i think like this yellowish whitish look just suits him better in my opinion but still i do think that's a little funny but i digress um but yeah mostly this like yellowish whitish coloration you know but we do have like a lot of like shading like on the chest here and on like the neck and especially on like the you know back and like top side of the tail i think this looks really nice and we have all these like black bits throughout which again are painted very neatly and they do look very good. Ella King's toe nubs here, he doesn't have toenails. Uh, these are painted black as well as his finger finger nubs. His visor thing, whatever you want to call this, uh, this is actually a transparent piece of plastic, which uh, you know, very similar to the SH Figures Ultra 7 and the SH Monster Arts Gigan, you know, both of them. And... Yeah, the antennas here are painted black with a little bit of that yellowish whitish coloration here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the painting on this figure. Overall, I think the painting here looks very solid, so the painting here, I'd say definitely gets a pass. Now, we'll take a look at the articulation, and the articulation on this figure is good. It's about on par with like other like SH Monster Arts figures that I talked about, so it's nothing like... Nothing you haven't seen before, but regardless, the articulation is still nice. So, let's take a closer look. So, right off the bat, uh, Ella King's antennas here are on swivel, so they can move 360. The base of the head is on a ball joint, as well as the middle portion of the neck and the base of the neck here. The shoulders can move outwards, like so. And we do have a bend in the elbows here. Now, everything is a ball joint here. I just like mostly like barbell like ball joints here. And the wrists, again, just a ball joint. I have a ball joint for. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, a ball joint here at the upper torso. And a ball joint at the waist here. The legs can kick forward about that far and backwards about that far. And they can spread like so. Have a bend in the knees here. The ankles here are on ball joints. And the tail here, just a bunch of like barbell like ball joints here. So just multiple segments so you can get like multiple like just very natural looking like curves here. Which I think looks nice. Also... The tip here, pause, I think pops off way too easily on mine, but I digress. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for the articulation here. Uh, the articulation on this figure, 
Very solid. Definitely gets a pass. Ella King here only comes with one accessory, and that accessory being an alternate tailpiece. Now, this is supposed to replicate the scene from the show where he's electrocuting Ultra 7. And basically, all you have to do to attach the tail is just pop off the fifth uh, segment and the tail, and just pop in this new piece, and yeah, it's pretty simple. You know, I'll put like a picture just to give an idea of like what to do, but still, um, this is how it looks now, and I think it looks good. I think it gets the job done nicely. Uh, some more accessories I think would have been nice, you know, maybe like an effect piece or something, but, you know, like, as is. I don't hate it. I think it's fine. So, yeah. Now, we'll take a look at the sculpt. And the sculpting on this figure, I think, is pretty much perfect. I think this uh, captures the likeness of Ella King from Ultra 7 very nicely. And really quick, like, Ella King, like, as a whole, like, at a design standpoint, I think is really weird. Like, in the show, right, like, you know... I didn't really think much of it, you know, I liked Ella King, but, like, actually holding this figure and actually, like, looking at the finer details here, like, Ella King has a really, like, weird design, you know, he has the visor, which is, like, very similar to Gigan, like, these are, like, you know, how, it, like, when I always saw pictures of Ella King, like, I always thought this was, like, a mouth or something, but no, this is, like, these are, like, his, uh, optics, or whatever you want to call it, this is how he sees, I guess, he has these, like, you know, antennas on the top of his head that, like, rotate constantly. Uh, he has no fingers or toes. He just has, like, nubs. And he has, like, a notably long tail. Not as long as, like, you know, Shin Godzilla or even Godzilla Ultima from Godzilla Singular Point. But still, like, still noticeably long. So, Ella King, he has a really weird design. But honestly, I really like that, you know? I really like the weirder designed, like, you know, Kaiju in the Ultra series, you know? I like the more, like, you know, basic and, like, simple designs, like Gomera and, like, you know, so on. But weird designs like this, and even that, it's not that weird, but still, like, designs like this, I do like. So, yeah. You know, I do like Ella King. He's not my favorite Ultra Kaiju. I think that title will go to Gomera, but still, Ella King, I still like him. I think he's pretty cool, so, yeah. Anyway, overall, the sculpting here is great. Definitely gets a pass. Now, we'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing on this figure is very solid, so let's take a closer look. So starting off at the head here, we can see like the detailing here, it looks alright, you know, like some curves in like the head here, and overall like it doesn't look too bad. Uh, the antennas here are detailed pretty nicely as well. And the visor here is detailed really nicely, like everything is uh, detailed very nicely here. Everything is nicely defined, and overall, you know, it just looks great. Going to the body here, we have just a lot of, like, creases and, like, folds in the skin that really give off that, like, guy in a suit feel, and I do really dig that here. I think it looks really good here. And all, like, these uh, black bits here are detailed very nicely as well. You know, and that continues, like, to the arms here. You know, I'm sure, and even in the legs here, we have some nice, like, wrinkles and, like, creases and whatnot. Yeah, just a lot of really nice detailing here, like, the body and whatnot. The back here, again, this is where the zipper was, but still, like, the detailing here looks very nice. Just a lot of really nice, like, creases and, like, folds here, which, again, really gives off that guy in a suit feel. And it just looks very good here. Just all throughout the tail here. Everything here is just beautifully detailed. Everything is nicely defined, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the detailing here. And the detailing on this figure is very good, so the detailing here, I'd say, definitely gets a pass. Now, we'll do some size comparisons. Um, I brought this guy in earlier, but here we have the SH Figuarts Ultra 7. Here we have the Bandai Ultra Hero Ultra 7. I don't have any more Ultra 7 figures, so here we have Ultra 7 on Blu-ray, the complete series. And, of course, here we have some hand sanitizer. And here we have Dr. Billy Grant. So, at the end of the day, should you get this figure? I'd say yes. I think the painting here is great, the articulation is great, the sculpting, the detailing, everything about this figure I think is great. 
I wish there could have been a little more, like, accessories, you know, maybe, like, an effect piece or something, but as is, like, overall, like, this is a good package, and I do recommend that you pick this figure up. Um, as far as price tags go, now, that all depends on where you get this guy. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store is selling this guy for $90, which, no, don't buy this guy for $90, that's not worth it. But E Night Media is actually selling this guy for I think like a little over seventy, which still isn't super cheap, but like it's better than ninety. So if you do really want this figure, then get him through E Night Media because he is cheaper than Big Bad Toy Store. So yeah. Anyway, uh, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zach out.